Let's let them know who really got it. Came up from the bottom, now we riding in a mozzie. And these my jealous done burnt the hole in my pocket. See me, I'm shining. Yo, what's going on, guys? It is your boy Bugs, and today, guys, I'm gonna really be explaining how the perk system works in multiverses and kind of giving a tier list on what perks are pretty much viable and what perks are not really. And also, uh, if you are looking for a video explaining what perks to use on certain characters and what are the best perks for certain characters, then stay tuned because I'll be making a part two to this video after. Now let's get straight into the video, guys. Now, first thing you need to know about perks and multiverses is that you get four perks. How this works is you get three small perks, whether it be an offensive, defensive, or utility, and then you have your signature perks. And what signature perks do is that they kind of change how your character moves are. So, for example, Arlie has a side B where she um, just shoots out her um, glove punch. Uh, if you run a perk, if you run one of her perks that, um, called Smooth Move, now that when you do that, she actually has a dodge of invincibility at the beginning of her attack. So you could kind of like, when you're fighting somebody or you're going to go up to somebody, you could kind of actually use it. it. Counts as a dash if they try to attack you and it's a free hit. And then her second one is called Glove Control. Uh, without the perk, oh, one second. without the perk, this is how her Glove Control um, down here is. It's pretty much like a fast um, down glove. But when you have the perk on, it is able to be controlled directionally you can actually turn them sideways actually have it bounce off the wall and hit up top and stuff like that and many many um, other signature perks for many other characters and more soon to come now let's get straight into the actual perks and what they do on the smaller side so let's go to all the perks and let's go down the list now we're, the first perk we're going to start off with is shirt cannon sniper shirt cannon sniper um, does team projectiles um, damage of seven percent increase to far away victims 15% if your ally also runs it. Now this perk is more of a perk that it, that should be used uh, with only projectile characters. Even though certain characters like Harley has projectile characters, you really want to use this because you don't use it a lot. Um, this is more for like Rain Dog, Tom and Jerry, um, even Bugs Bunny. All those characters that actually their move sets are all surrounded by um, projectile moves. Next perk we have is called Deadshot. Deadshot is a 5 increase damage with projectiles, temporary increase if your ally also runs it. Again, another perk for projectile characters such as Bugs, Rain Dog, Tom and Jerry, etc. Even though certain characters also do have projectiles, it's not really recommended because you're not always using it, so you're not really getting the best benefit out of it. So I would have to put this as a tier 2 perk, and also this is a tier 2 perk. And how are we going to do the tier list? We're going to do a tier list of 3. Tier 1 meaning the best, tier 2 as being. Um, very well and then tier 3 as in not much needed. Next we have is Slumpy Space Punch. Your team, ally, your team deals 5% increased damage with melee attacks in the air, 10% if your ally also runs it. I'm going to have to also give this perk a tier 2 and the reason why is because it's kind of like a 50-50. Again, it's all about uh, what you do as a character. So if you see you're using a lot of air attacks and this is something I definitely recommend you to have. But then again, it is 50% because you know, it's either you're doing attacks in the air or you're doing attacks on the ground. And for the fact that this is only for the air, I'm gonna have to put it as a tier two. Next we're gonna have is um, collateral damage. Your team, ally your team deals one additional damage when knocking back enemies collide um, with a wall or the floor to damage um, if your ally selects this perk. Now sadly, I'm going to have to give this perk a tier 3, and the reason why is because 1%, 2% isn't too much, and there's not that many characters that actually do collide, or their movesets do collide, um, and then to them hitting the walls or the floor. The ones, the, the main person I can really think of is Steven with his shield, but other than that, the only other map that you can really bounce off of people and stuff is um, Scooby's Mansion. Other than that, you're not really getting that much use out of this perk with any other character. The next one we have is that's not all folks and that is ringing out um, enemies near uh, while near the edge of the um, arena pushes the attacker back towards the main stage and if you stack it with your ally then it pushes even stronger and longer um, long, um, <laughs> larger um, this one also gonna have to give it a tier 3 and the reason why is there's actually another better perk that I'm just explaining y'all which is way better than this and it's just not that viable I'm trying to go off stage you know going for a kill just to get punished by their opponent i mean by by their teammate or even playing solos not being able to reach back there uh, moving on uh, painted target five percent damage increase when hitting enemies that are hit stun ten percent ten percent when you're uh, with an ally again i have to say tier two nice damage um the best way I could put this is why it's so good is that if you are able to, I guess, knock an opponent out and their teammate is still up after, um, attacking them together, 
could build up a lot of damage and even if you knock back uh, one of their opponents and jump on one person real quick does a lot of damage but still not a tier for the fact that it is a rare chance that you and your opponent you and your teammate will be jumping one person at a time in this game because you're always up in twos um in multiverses um next is snowball effect your team deals seven percent um, increased damage against the fire with the largest damage and 15 percent uh, when your ally also um, runs it i'm about to give this a tier one and the reason why is because this is very very vital when it comes to those clutching games when your opponent is very weak um almost in every um platform friday as y'all know is that this is this, this would be like a huge perk in any game like doing more damage especially to a person that that is at the highest damage already that you're deep that it's an even increase even higher very vital definitely gonna see this a lot in the future make it rain dog um your team receives 20 percent increased projectile speed 25 percent on with your ally i'm gonna have to give this a uh a tier one having any projectile in this game is already wild now having it have an increase of speed of 20% let alone and I guess 5% with your teammate even more which I guess you don't even need because 20% is a lot so very solid definitely um, a perk you should always run with Tom and Jerry or Rain Dog and etc other projectile you know characters next we have is Wildcat Brawler deal 5% increase 5% damage with melee attacks on the ground 10% uh, with you know allies Again, another program I'm going to get in the tier 2 just for the fact that it is 50%. You know, it's only for melee attacks. So, very unfortunate. Now, this is the better perk that I was talking about versus the that's not all, folks. This one is called Refreshing Ring Out. Your teammate refreshes air specials after ringing out an enemy. Ref and then if your teammate also stacks, it refreshes all your air um, options um, if your ally also runs in. Which all your air options is 2 dodgers, 2 jumps, and 2 specials. This is definitely a tier 1 perk. You're not going to see a lot of people using it now because people are still learning the game. Now people are afraid to, I guess, go off stage. But when people get more comfortable going off stage and can 100% confirm kills, people are going to love this perk. To be able to literally have 6 abilities times 12, yeah, 12 abilities to be off the stage. Because you can use 6 of them to kill somebody and then you can use 6 to get back on the stage um, if they're... Um, you know teammate trying to like defend you off and try to take you down that you have all your abilities pretty much back once again um, Next we have is vertical damage 5% um, increased damage with attacks that knock upwards again tier 2 it's very 50% It only works on attacks going vertical and then going on to the next one, which is horizontal damage same thing tier 2 same damage 5 10% Yeah, yeah, get, yeah get the gif Ice projectile. Your team's projectile deals two stacks of ice debuff if you knock enemies back. Three if your allies also run it. This perk is incredible. This is definitely a tier one perk, and the reason why is that they have been tweaking with the ice perk. I hope to see a nerf. I'm not gonna lie, but this perk literally getting one tick on you is enough to slow you down and change your whole gameplay, where you really can't do anything besides dodge and trying to jump away and defend yourself. Definitely a tier one perk. 100% um, believe you should run this if you you know have projectiles in your kit. Fire projectiles. Three seconds after knocking back an opponent with a projectile, your teammates can melee attack that um, opponent to ignite them for two seconds. Again, another amazing um, perk for projectiles. I'm of the, the tier one just because of the damage it does over time, man. When I say this thing builds, it builds, and I think it's it doesn't stack, but it resets. So for example, you hit somebody going down, you see about to go down, hit them again with a the projectile, it reunites and does the same fire damage this game builds up over time. Electric projectile. After allies remain grounded for seven seconds, the next projectile is empire with electricity damage. I'm gonna have to give this a tier three. This is probably one of the worst element um, perks in the game right now testing it you don't really do anything by yourself i think it does two ticks and then i guess with your allies it might do eight ticks max because it says four seconds so don't really really make recommend this and yeah you should probably stay away from it next we have is damage boost on def debuff um five percent increased damage when hitting debuff enemies ten percent this i'm gonna have to give a tier three guys not really useful only works when you have debuffs as in like the fire and the ice so it's even worse than 50%. I probably say 20% uh, when it comes to you know getting projectiles or any debuff on um, opponents. Just not worth it. Um, debuff ability refund. Your team receive, receives a 0 0.5 second refund on abilities cooldowns after hitting debuffs enemies, and one second if your ally also runs this. 
guys i literally just tested this out not too long ago this is tier one it's um and it's only tier one for i, I want to say characters that use um cooldowns obviously but just just having that is just outstanding for the fact that you're able to get your abilities back even faster so someone that will um get the most out of this would be like say wonder woman wonder woman literally um is able to get her shield for you and your teammate way faster if you and your teammate is doing enough damage you could probably pop this every probably like three four seconds i don't know the exact timing but let's just say if you do it correctly with your attacks you're literally gonna have no cooldowns on any of your moves um, dodge distance on hit your team receives 10 percent increased dodge distance when dodging out of an attack hit or um cancel 20 percent if your ally also runs it now, i'm going to show you this because a lot of people don't know this there are some moves that you actually can cancel out of um in this game and it's like i said it's i it's like a street fighter it's like a traditional fighter you know how you cancel a move so pretty much what you do is you charge up an attack and then you just dodge and you cancel it and having this break on makes you go way further as you can see and imagine it with your opponent you'll probably go 20 it's it's a lot let's get back into the perks <laughs> next we have is our defenses to in elastic t elasticity <laughs> Your team um, receives a 20% reduction to ground and wall bounds velocity, guys, and 25% with your ally. Guys, tier 3, not really worth it. Again, this is only good against, I, will, I wouldn't say Stevens and the one map currently right now, which is Scooby Mansion. Other maps, not worth having. Stronger than ever, your team receives armor for 5 seconds after responding. 7 seconds if your ally responds it. Guys, I'm gonna, again, going to have to do this as a tier 3. Even though it's awesome that you do spawn. Um, well, it gives your whole team armor when your teammates respawn. It's not that really good because if you don't know an armor in this game, armor in this game is literally just one hit. So for the fact that I get this after respawning, it doesn't really do much for me. Especially that um, there's a timer on it. Also um, on shield, it doesn't last forever. So over time, if your opponent runs away, it's just going to fade away um, off your character. Next we have is Slippery Customer. Your team receives a 10% longer dodge vulnerability window. And 15% if your ally also runs it. Give it a tier 2. Definitely something to look into if you um, want to have more dodges in this game. Because um, I believe... At least for my testing, after you get underneath, I want to say 50, 40 percent of your meter, you kind of can't dodge out of um, stuff anymore. You kind of have to dodge away from um, attacks and stuff, even projectiles. So tier two, you want to um, be able to get it faster or more of it than you want to run that. Crypto skin, your damage receives 4 percent um, reduced incoming damage, 6 percent uh, with your ally. I'm going to give this a tier three. The percentage is just not enough to, to to make a difference it's probably like what two three damage or maybe just not worth it wonder twin um powers your team receives six percent reduced damage when their enemies 12 percent um with allies guys i think this is a tier two just for the fact that well at least you have to run it with a teammate this is guaranteed 20 12 percent is actually a decent amount um when it comes to teams especially if you are running with your teammates all the time 100 percent worth running um, next we have is boundless energy boundless energy a certain percent faster dodge when you recharge this is how you get your um your vulnerability and dodges faster give it a tier two again having vulnerability in this game is everything because not only that it makes you dodge out of attacks it's also your movement in this game i don't think you need the bar for it but for the fact that you kind of use the bar for your movement this helps to get it back to be able to be vulnerable out of dodges um and attacks later dodge reflect this is a tier 2 and what it does is that it destroys projectiles after successfully neutral um, neutral dodging projectiles and um, if your opponent, if your teammate also runs it, it reflects it. I'm going to have to give it a tier 2. I really want to say it's a tier 1 but for the fact that you have to neutral dodge, it kind of makes it a little bit more difficult to get out of it because um, even though you know neutral dodge is pretty easy and stuff, the game is so fast paced that if, they hit you with a, if they're shooting projectiles at you, they're most likely not sitting back. They're mostly following upwards with their projectile. So even though you spot dodge that attack, guess what? They're literally coming right at you. Now again, having your teammate run it with a flick, um, reflect is pretty good. But I think there's like a one second delay where it kind of like re reverses trajectory and then shoots out. So they might get interrupted. They might not. So for that, I'm going to give it a tier two. Next we have is dodge armor. 
And this one is kind of kind of solid. I want to give it tier two, possibly even tier one. What dodge armor does is, after successfully neutral dodging it, you actually get armor, um, for one second. One second isn't that much, but again, if you're on with your ally, that's three seconds. That kind of makes more of a difference. But then again, like I said, this game is so fast that one second is enough for I guess solos for duels. Eh, a little shaky, but you know, again, if you have your allies, then it's definitely worth running the three seconds to get to your opponents and attack them. So. Give it a tier 2. Next one we have is Ability Refund Getting Hit. Your team receives a 10% Ability Cooldown Refund after being knocked back by a projectile 50% if it's uh, with your ally. If you visit tier 2, this is a low-key underrated perk I don't think I've seen anyone run. For the fact that this is like a big counter to, I guess, projectile um, characters that, you know, you get your abilities back. For example, like Wonder Woman. Uh, probably even Harley Quinn for her like little bomb thing, Bugs Bunny, um, getting all his stuff, and even going against um, projectile characters as yourself, like Rain Dog and stuff, getting your stuff back faster. This is amazing. Projectile block. Your um your team receives a projectile um, block buff for two seconds after being knocked back by a projectile. Four seconds if the ally runs it. Guys, this is a tier one perk. Again, this is another perk that I just finally figured out. And just realize how good it is, especially against, once again, these projectile um, characters. Getting hit by one projectile literally gives you shield. So let me show you how this works real quick. Literally, and I have rain dog. So say say you have an issue with, um, I guess, you know, dodging or, or spot dodging these projectiles. Getting hit by one literally gives you armor to be able to push through one more projectile and attack them. So for example... I'm gonna go rain dog, rain dog hits me, I got armor now, and now I can just get in there because he's um you know on a slight cooldown of um you know because he just hit me. So get hit. Oh my god, I'm getting in there, in there. Amazing. Literally tier one. No question asked about that. Um now we go on utility. You see the um the trigonometry is 15% increase base knockback influence alter the angle of direction you are launched. I want to give this a tier one. A lot of people might give this a tier two, but I'll give this a tier one just for the fact that you have more influence on your DI in this game, which is huge. As in that means you can live even higher um in damage, especially on certain characters that have crazy knockbacks. For example, like Taz. <clears throat> Next one is in a single bound. Your team receives a 10% increase. Jump speed, 15% if your ally always runs it. I'm going to give this a tier 2. A lot of people might give uh, a couple of these perks that, that you're about to see a tier 3. But the reason why I give it a tier 2 is because it's going to catch people off guard. Because when people lab and stuff, you know, they get the information on what they're going to do and how they're going to do it. But over time, um, having this different increase makes you play a whole nother game. You know, people expect, oh, you're going to reach this distance. You're going to be this and that. At an exact timing of them labbing and practicing but you having this perk of having a 10 percent increase jump speed you're gonna get there faster than what they expect now same thing um with leg day champ again there's gonna be a distance where they believe that they're that you're gonna reach but guess what now you're gonna go up a little bit higher that's gonna be like wait what so for that reason i'm gonna give this a no so a tier 2 50 percent if you you know have with your ally um, again, with this one, gravity manipulation, 10% increase fall, um, fast fall speed. Someone's hitting you up, 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 trying to kill you from the top. And guess what? You just fall faster, just, just a little bit faster than what they expected. And especially with your ally running at 20%, it's going to catch them off guard. Again, hit me if you're able to. 5% increase dodge speed, 10% if you're with your allies. Another one amazing. Having um, a little bit faster dodge helps a lot. This one, I'm going to give it a tier 3. Last stance, your team deals 10% damage after reaching 100 damage. I have to do more testing. If it's a reaching 100 damage as a team, as in 50-50, very solid. And I push it up to a tier 2. But if it's that one of your teammates have to be at 100, I don't think it's worth it. And it's at 90 if you run with your allies. I would rather do 20% more damage if um you know if my ally runs it. Not do, it, not do 10% more damage at 90. So for that reason, going to give it a tier 3. Next one, we have the appearance of motivations. 50% increase damage for 10 seconds after your ally is ring out. 15% seconds if your ally also rings it. Um, where's the perk? Tier 3. Not worth it. Doing 15% more damage after your teammate gets knocked out isn't too crazy because off rip, you're already at a disadvantage because now you're getting jumped by two characters for a few seconds and your teammate has to run in and try to help you. So 
for that reason, kind of had to give it a tier three. Fancy footwork again, tier two, five percent increased distance on dodge, ten percent if your ally runs it. Again, these numbers aren't that huge, but it's gonna make the difference in the long run, especially on those high level gameplays. Is that people are gonna expect, oh, you're gonna dodge this distance, but for the fact that now you're running this perk, you're gonna dodge a little bit further than what they expect now. Again. Um, aerial cro um, crobat, right? <laughs> Ten percent increase air acceleration, twenty percent with your um, allies. This also, this is um, pretty much for flight. You know, when you're flying and jumping around, helps a lot. Again, people are gonna expect you to reach there at X amount of time. You're gonna exceed that because of these perks. Tier two, possibly could be tier one to be honest. I'm not sure which one's the best, but these are perks to definitely look into on a low key. <clears throat> now, finally, we have a tier one perk again. Triple jump, solid. If um, you receive an extra jump, if you um, you hit an enemy while in the air, and if you prone, uh, if your teammate also has it, you always have an um, extra jump. So you had six recoveries, now you have seven. And you have seven guaranteed if your um, enemy, um, if your teammate runs it. Solid triple jump is amazing, especially for chases and rundowns, and again, also you know chasing outside the map. Because guess what? Now you have that extra jump that you can use to get back closer to the map. And if you don't know, you can do your you know your light attacks to get closer to them. Um, to the stage two. Coffee Zilla, 10% reduction ability cooldown, 15% uh, with allies. Give it a tier two, 100% useful. You don't have to do nothing and you already get a reduction on your ability cooldowns. Next one is your speed force assistance, 4% increased move phase, 8% on ally. This one I'm gonna have to give, I'm gonna have to give it a, a tier three. I give it a tier two if your ally runs it, but a tier three just for the fact that 4%, even though I said the other ones you do see it, for the fact that it's a one less more percent, I just feel like it's just not even worth running if you're by yourself. Um, next one is ability refund on dodge. Again, I'm going to give this tier two, maybe even a tier one for the fact that every time you dodge um, an attack, you're getting your abilities cooldown. So if you're purposely just running around, dodging and missing, um, making your opponent miss, you're literally getting your abilities back just to reuse it on them to do massive damage. 50% if your allies are um, running. So given the tier two, possibly even a tier one. And then finally, the god of all perks is the tier 1 projectile gray health. Your team grants allies 3 gray health for 5 seconds after knockbacks enemies with projectiles. 8% if your ally runs it. Guys, when I tell y'all how crazy this perk is with projectile characters like Rain Dog and Tom and Jerry where their projectiles usually always hit you. But the fact that um, if you don't know what gray health is, it's pretty much acting as if you have only been hit at 8% even if you're at um, 80 90% um, I think they're definitely looking to this perk to nerf it because it really is that broken and powerful and I'm pretty sure it stacks a little bit too I'm not sure for how long but it stacks you might say five seconds isn't a lot but I say a long time in, in, a, in a platform fighter and that's it for the video guys like I said if you want to look for your character video that's going to be uploaded hopefully later in today or even tomorrow apologies if i decide to do that but yeah i'm going to do that video um for y'all for y'all to run the best i want to say probably two to three sets per character for y'all to run which will be the best for them for you to run as of this meta and yeah that's it for the video guys leave a like if you like the video comment anything comment if you think you know what are the best perks in your opinion you know i would love to see what are y'all thoughts on that and finally, if this is your first time ever watching my videos and you're not subscribed, what are you doing, guys? I have the multiverses news, the updates, the tips and tricks that you're seeing. You're soon going to get amazing gameplay that I have been stocking up, piling up for the ending of the playtest slash when the playtest is over. So you have some to watch and esports and tournaments. Guys, I recently just placed top seven in a tournament recently and I'm going to make a video out of that too. But in time, but yeah. And I'm out, guys. Peace. Yeah, she got a man. She don't really give a fuck about left him back home in a whole nother state. Moved to LA cause she wanna be famous. Got a nine to five on the side. She a waitress, but it's getting tough. Hard to find.